Greetings Gamerinos, welcome to Eurogamer and it's time for a little blast from the past. It's dry at the moment, isn't it? There's no games out. It's it's the, the it's like, you know, the dry spell before Christmas when uh, games companies expect you to go and play outside in the sunshine. Who wants to do that? I want to play more games. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have too many new ones to show you, so I thought I would go back in time a bit and play one of my favourite games ever. Uh, one of the questions I get asked the most doing this uh, job is, uh, Ian, what is your favourite, most favourite game ever? I can't really answer that because I have different favourite games from different uh, genres, different time periods, but I think my very first ever favourite game uh, was this one, Fantasy World Dizzy for the uh, ZX Spectrum, this is the Commodore 64 version. Um, I was a massive Codemasters fan when I was a young and I've got this uh, kind of briefcase here which um, has a few, I hope it's not going to fall out, a few of my old Codemasters games in there along with some Hit Squad ones. I've got lots of Quattro tapes, the Quattro tapes had four games on. Loads of Dizzy games in there though. Um, I've got the, the first Dizzy there, I've got Treasure Island Dizzy, Fantasy World Dizzy, I've got uh, I got Dizzy 3.5, which came free on a, a on a cover disc. There's my artwork for it. Brilliant. I've got Magic Land Dizzy as well. Uh, all these games. Uh, if you are under the age of 30, you probably don't even know that games used to come on audio cassette tapes. Just like that, there you go, that's got Magic Land Dizzy on it. You had to wait for about 20 minutes for it to load. But boy was it worth it. So yeah, I'm going to be playing a little bit of uh, Fantasy World Dizzy for you guys today. Um, I'm going to be using an emulator. I got permission from Codemasters uh, to, uh, to stream this via an emulator though, so... Uh, I also own the original like three times over, so there's no piracy here. I got permission, honest. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's let's get on with it. Uh, let's say hello to some people uh, first, actually. B -b 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 see what see what we got going on in the comment section. We got Wogsy Kirk here. Uh, we got Wayne Donaldson. Who remembers Seymour? I've got some Seymour in there as well. Uh, hey CC Crow. Hey Kai was twelve. It was. It is really retro when you're around for the first time. Says Kai Uh Wow, look at that cassette tape. Kids don't know what they are. Says Wogsy Kirk. Stroy is here. Uh, FR Player One's here. Says Kai was twelve. Says Ash is my name UK. So Stroy, he says he stopped playing Minecraft for this. So it better be good. Oh, where's my headphones? I've lost my headphones. Never mind. Um, Steve Scott is here. Wayne Dobson. Loads of people. Hopefully you guys are uh, looking forward to seeing some Dizzy, some Fantasy World Dizzy. 71 people are. If you're new, please do subscribe to this channel. If you're not new and you're a regular, sit back, relax, uh, wait for a second while I try and find out where my headphones have gone. They're down here. Sorry, my room is such a mess. I'm going to rumble my mic for a second. There we go. Right, headphones on time to play the best game that was ever created in the ZX Spectrum years, in my opinion. Oh, I've not got my, uh, I've not turned my headphones on either. You might have probably, you probably heard some uh, amazing digitised speech there, and also a, uh, an uh, incredible theme tune. Oh, always runs smoothly. The reason my headphones aren't switched on is because I spent about 20 minutes trying to make that quick ZX Spectrum loading screen that you saw just as the stream started. Here we go. Fantasy World Dizzy. I reckon you could get a few bob for your collection here and they look in great condition. They're in very good condition, but uh, I don't think you get very much for Spectrum games. So here we go. Fantasy World Dizzy starring the Yoke Folk. Dizzy. Daisy, Denzel, Dylan, Dozy, and Grand Dizzy. So here we go. Uh, here's Dizzy, the main character. Dizzy's been in quite a few games. Uh, this is uh, him starting up. He's trapped in the castle's dungeon. He's often trapped in dungeons, is Dizzy. Uh, we've got a cranky uh, troll. 
blocking the way. He says, Oh, where do you think you're going? Throws you away. We got fire blocking me this exit. Um, so I need to work out how to get past the fire. What have I got? If I press enter, it shows my inventory. At the moment, I'm carrying a fresh green apple. You can only carry two objects at once at the moment. So you have to kind of manage your menu as well. I'm going to walk up to the troll. He's green. So I'm going to think maybe he'll like a fresh green apple. I'm going to press enter. You gave the apple to the troll. For me, you're so generous. I'd like to let you pass. But if the king found out, he'd torture me. However, you could escape through the fire using the water. So there you go. He's given me a clue to uh, escape through the fire. I need to use the jug of cold water. So let's walk up to the fire. And uh, I will use the cold jug, uh, the jug of cold water on the fire. You throw the jug of water onto the fire and the flames are quickly quenched. There we go. So the flames are out. Now what I'm going to do, because uh, in this game you only get a limited amount of lives. And uh, it's the old school years. You don't get respawns. You don't get health regeneration. If you lose all your lives, you have to start right from the beginning again. So I'm going to be using quick saves um, every time I walk into a room. I think it's F3 to quick save. And then F2 to load. Yeah, so F3 quick saves. Okay, cool, cool. Seeing these games makes me feel really young, says Steve Scott. Alright, guy, I'm old enough to have bought this when first released, says My God One. Me too, me too. Uh, Wogsy Kirk is probably better than all of us at IK. Uh, Colin Robinson says, This is brilliant. Hey, John and Bob. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I'm going to move my mouse off the screen. That'll probably help. Hopefully the audio is alright. So I've got a heavy boulder. I'm going to need that heavy boulder later. Uh, I'm going to get to a point about halfway through this game where I completely forget what to do. Uh, and I'll probably need to consult a guide. This rat thing will eat me. So the only thing to do is drop a stale loaf of bread and hope he eats it. There we go. The ravenous rat eats the loaf and runs away. A lot of this gameplay in the olden days was uh, obviously it was trial and error. You didn't have the internet back in these days. You had ZX Spectrum magazines that came out like what? Once fortnightly? Maybe once monthly? Uh, which sometimes had solutions in but most of the time you had to go around your mates houses and hope that they knew how to do things and you know swap tips with each other. This is cool right? This is uh, this blew my mind when I was little. This is my first kind of ever experience of, like, uh, an in-joke, an in-game in-joke. If I press enter now, the action button, uh, uh, this picture behind me, you look up and it's uh, at the picture. It's you in your last adventure, Treasure Island Dizzy. And there's the loading screen for Treasure Island Dizzy from the ZX Spectrum, uh, which is the second Dizzy game. And that blew my mind. That was... Um, yeah, you know, one of the, the first kind of in-game Easter eggs I'd ever seen. I think uh, I just I loved that. I was like, wow, this is incredible. Uh, there is um, up the top that way next to Dizzy Three. There's two zeros. Also, there is there are 30 coins to pick up. I can't remember whether I'm pretty sure there is a coin hidden behind one of these. Here you go, a heavy piece of railing. I've, I've picked up a piece of railing. There's a coin. So you found a coin. You can only complete the game proper if you find all 30 coins. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that this Let's Play. There's another one. So let's get that coin. The reason they uh, dizzy as an egg is because of the primitive kind of uh, memory on these games. And a round circle with a face on and some arms and legs was a lot easier to program than like a fully grown human. Boing. Do, 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 do. I felt really smart the first time I completed this is Craig Dodson. So what have we got here? There's a drawbridge that's going to stop me from going outside, so if I throw the lever to on... You throw the lever to on, but it breaks. So now the drawbridge is a little bit... It's, I can get through... But there's a little bit of danger, but we don't we don't want to go through there. Let's carry on going up in the castle, see what we can see. I found a coin. Actually, before I go up there, like I said, there's a lot of item management in this game. So I'm going to drop my heavy boulder down here for now. This is a screen I normally used to use for holding all my items. Because you, you, you do have to double back quite a bit. Here's one of the uh, here's one of the other yoke folk. I'll speak to him in a second. I'm just going to go and get this coin. Yoink! You found a coin. Yes, I did. Don't fall in the fire. What are you doing here, Denzel? Don't you know it's dangerous here? 
Hey, stay cool, dears. I saw the king leave and I thought I'd check out the castle. But Daisy and I were caught. I was thrown in the dungeons and Daisy's been taken to the wizard's castle. Oh, we'd all wondered where you two had gone. I'm too busy to help, but here's your rope you lent me last week. So I've been given some rope. And then Denzel has turned up his stereo now. He's ignoring me. So let's uh, let's take that rope. If I can. There we go. Got the piece of rope. That's going to come in handy later. Now, I'm going to need to jump right at the edge of this table, I think, to make that jump. It's a pretty, pretty tricky jump to make. But I know. I know where to jump. Knock and enter. That's easier said than done when you're wearing boxing gloves. So I can't get in there because I'm, I'm wearing boxing gloves and I can't knock on the door and enter. Let's head up here and grab this coin. And carry on to the attic. There's a bone here. A meaty bone and a piece of rope I've got. I can't remember if any of this hides another coin. I don't think it does, so I'm going to carry on going. Crash Bandicoot had no neck because it was loads easier to program it that way, says Stroyer. I don't think I ever stopped to think why Dizzy was an egg, says Matthew Pollard. Now you know why. He was easier to animate. There's a key there. I'm going to leave that key there because I've only got space for two items at the moment. I'll come back and get that in a sec. Do 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 do. You're welcome for this soundtrack getting stuck in your head all day, by the way. So I'm just going to quickly drop these down here. I'm going to go get the key as well, just to save myself having to backtrack too much later on. Messed up that jump, didn't I? There we go. Let's see if I can make this jump again. Oh, I missed it. See what I mean about it being a tricky jump to make? You've got to be spot on precision with the jump. Dizzy, because he's an egg, he rolls as well. So it's very easy to kind of overshoot jumps at times and end up dying, falling onto some spikes or something. Oh, I can't believe I did that jump first time. Now I'm failing super hard. Come on, Dizzy. Get back up there. This is back in the days when I learnt... Ah, oh, you massive tool. I learned pa about patience and trying. <laughs> Spectrum games, you needed a lot of patience to succeed and you needed to try and try again when you fail. Right, let's get that key. I'm going to quick save here. Just in case. If I fall down there, I'll show you actually. If you fall down here, there's there's spikes and you die. I don't want to lose that life. I'm going to quick uh, I'm going to quick load there. So that's what I'm going to be doing before any like really tricky parts in the game. I've got 60 minutes. I'm going to be playing this game till half past five. So I'm going to see how far I can get in that time. This is one Ian, uh, time Ian can be a pro when playing the video games destroyer. I'll probably still die loads. Right, so for this section, I'm going to take the meaty bone and I'm going to take the rock. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? I found a coin. Any plans for another The Last of Us live stream? Uh, the last one was good. Um, says Peter Mountain. I'll be doing a. I'll be doing a The Last of Us live stream um, tomorrow. Right. I'm gonna leave the heavy boulder here quickly. I need to be quick. I need to go here, pick up this boulder. Go here. Actually, go here. Drop the meaty bone, and then jump back up again. There we go. Let's let's save that. Is he going to go in and get it? I might have um, quick saving. I've kind of cocked the game up a bit. I think. There we go. Right. No. You don't want to eat the bone? I don't think I put it deep enough. That's what she said. Right. Go eat that bone! There he goes. Right, the Ar Armorog is now in his den. That bone should keep him busy. hi -oh. Let's keep going. So I've got two, two rocks at the moment. I always die here. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right. 
past past the flappy bird. Let's drop the boulders. So you push the rock into the water and it displaces the water, raising the level. Let's get another one. And you push the rock into the water and it displaces the water, raising the level. So I've raised the level of the water slightly. Early physics puzzle. Hi -oh. This is where this is where all puzzle games learn how to work. By the way. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So I need to get I need to get more more rocks basically. So let's head back. That bird's gonna eat me, isn't it? Damn it. Uh, F2 to load. Yeah, see you later, bird. There's the Almarog. He's nice and he's full up in his cave now. Let's keep going, Dizzy. Let's do this. Okay, so next job, I'm going to take the rope. Oh, what? What have I got? Oh, no. Did I reload it before I put a boulder? The boulder's in the water. Oh, nuts. Alright. F2, was it? To load? I don't want to reset. Yeah, here we go. Right. <laughs> Drop the boulder. Drop the boulder. F3 to save. There we go. Right. Run! Let's keep going. In you should have recreated the ZX Spectrum experience and had us wait for an hour for the game to load up, says John Above 87. I well, I thought maybe people might switch off. But I did a mini I did a mini version of that right at the beginning of the uh, of the stream. So if you rewind it you can watch that back. So I've got the rope here. What am I gonna do the rope? What am I gonna use for the rope? I think I might need to use the rope on this alligator. So this is another section where it's very easy to die. I've just quick saved. You've got to time it very well. So he does one, two, three, and then he stays closed. Three, stays closed. So one, two, jump, three. Ah, oh, I went over. Okay. One, two, jump, three. And drop the piece of rope on him. You nimbly tie the rope around the gator's snout. There we go. The gator is now completely muzzled. He can no longer bite me. And what have we got here? Another heavy boulder. We've also got a dragon. Let's not get uh, let's not get burnt by that dragon. F3 to save. As we head back. Yes, didn't die. Didn't fall in the water. This is where I got all my science knowledge from and sex education, but Ian's not got to that level yet, so there's no mad gym. Do, do, do. Physics puzzles and grinding for identical items so ahead of its time, says Parsi. Listen. Right. I'm going to leave that key there. What have I got? I've got a heavy boulder. That's all I need. So let's head back. Let's go, let's go. Any of you guys here actually played this, the original, or is this your first time checking out this game? Go. Yeah, see you later, bird. One more heavy boulder in there. Displace the water level, quick save. And now we should be able to jump up here and fetch that key, shiny gold key there. Now this part of the game, there are definitely some hidden secrets in here. I just gotta remember where they are. Or how to more rightly how to get to them. There's, there you go, there's one coin. Remember that one. Now there's also down in the bottom there's a, a hidden an evil hidden room. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna I might go into it to show you it, but getting out of it is um, a nightmare. So I'm not sure whether I want to waste 20 minutes of the stream trying to get out. Uh, if I press F3 quickly, somewhere around here, you fall down and die. Yeah, it's that bit. So I jump over here. Who's this? Hey, Dozy, get up! You kick the deck chair and he wakes up. Oh, what's your problem, Dizzy? 
Daisy's been egg-napped and is being held in the wizard's cloud castle and nobody will help him help me rescue her. Oh, that's bad luck. I'll help you, Dizzy. Here's some sleeping potion. That should help. But I'd like you to help me. Sorry, Dizzy. Love to, but it's too far too nice a day to rescue maidens. I don't think he's going to help and he's fallen asleep. So, uh... Oh, Dozy's fallen asleep there. Picked up the sleep potion there. Now, this is another cool little hidden thing that um, kind of blew my mind when I was younger as well. You kick Dozy, but he's asleep. You kick Dozy, but he's asleep. You kick Dozy, but he's asleep. Whoops, you kick too hard and Dozy's fallen into the water and he's still asleep. No! See you later, Dozy. So he's he's off. It's a little bit of extra attempt, little bits of extra storytelling and atmosphere uh, and attention to detail in this game was what really uh, made me love it. Because Spectrum Games, you know, they were up against it, making a really like interactive and you know, inter like immersive narrative experience is pretty hard when um, the games are 128k. Uh, put it this way, this game is 128k you'll get emails that are more than 128k. Pretty much any picture you look at on the internet now, any like photo is a, a megabyte or two. Like uh, the most, so much more than 128k. So, but this managed to be, to have such personality and um, such like heart to it. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go in the, um, I'm gonna try my best to go in the secret hidden evil death room. I'm going to save quickly because I don't think I'll be able to get out. So here we go. You jump. Depending on where you jump really depends on if you can get in there or not. So this is the evil death room which is almost impossible to get out of. There is one coin in here that you can get. So I've got the coin but now getting out is a nightmare uh, because you don't really know where you can land and where you can jump. That's not it. You've got to be really kind of spot on with where you jump. There you go. I fell through a bit to jump. Is it that? And then that? And then that? I think it is. Okay, now this bit. Jump. No, I cocked it up. Cocked it up. It's. It, I was... Um, Probably half a day I was stuck on this bit when I was a kid. When I was a wee nipper. Can I jump from there and do it? Is that it? Yes. Okay, maybe I'm going to do it. Get up there. Ha, oh, think I Ah, I fell back the right. You get the idea. Um, I'll try it one more time. I'll try it one more time. But working this out with no internet. No solutions. Ah, oh, no, I've failed. Right, <laughs> F3 to save, F2 to load. So yeah, there's a coin down there, but we're not going to try and get out there. That'd take me all day. But yeah, working out how to get down there was just like... This is 1080p, 60 eggs per second, John Howe, you're right. I think Ian should have done the voiceover for this game. Those voices were top-notch, says Luke James Hogan. Codemasters, if you're watching and you ever decide to uh, remake Dizzy for anything, I'm available to do the voices. No problem, no problem at all. Here we go. Right, let's quick save so I don't get munched by this bird. And let's keep going. You murdered Dozy, says uh, John of Bob 87. It's okay. He'll be back in. Uh, he'll be back in Magic Land, is he? I had the route out memorized when I was young, says Wayne Do uh, Donaldson. I had it memorized pretty good. I got I nearly got there, but um, it was just I remember wanting to cry at points trying to get out of that when. I don't want to get into that experience again. What have I got on me? I've got a sleeping potion and a shiny gold key. Uh, boo, 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 boo. So let's keep going. Okay, I'm not 100% sure. I th oh, F2 to load? Well, I believe... I sleeping potion. Yes, you smash the sleeping potion on the floor. I skipped that, but I smashed the sleeping potion on the floor, and now the dragon is asleep. Night, night, dragon. 
So I'm going to go back quickly. Let's save that. And let's go back and get the other key. That there is... Um, I'll show you what this is. This is a uh, bottle of whiskey. It's uh, a very early example of a video game red herring. If I drink the bottle of whiskey, you find the whiskey too tempting to drop, and so you drink it. Um, it actually doesn't work on the emulator, but... Uh, oh, no, there we go. Yeah, occasionally, Dizzy na will roll, roll in a weird direction for a bit. It wears off after a while, but he's a little bit drunk now. Let's pick up that shiny gold key. Hopefully he doesn't keep uh, rolling for much longer. And that bottle does nothing now. There's no no more need for that bottle. So I've got the keys. Let's carry on. Let's carry on regardless. I'm still waiting for the game where all the voices are made by Nolan North, says Stroyer. Ian has another game of the Sepulchre series coming out. Will you live stream of it? Will you do a live stream of it when it's done? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. The number of times I rolled off that bloody crocodile and died it isn't funny, says Mr. Tom uh, for the win. Oh, I know exactly how you feel, Mr. Tom for the win. What I've done here is I've picked up an another bag, and that has uh, now given me more space. More space to hold things. Hooray! So I've got extra space in my backpack. Now around this area, I know for a fact around this area there are loads of bits of railing and coins hidden. The railing does nothing, so I can drop that back down. There's loads of coins hidden around behind bushes and things. I'm not going to try and find them. There was a fail. There was a DZ Kickstarter in, but it failed. It's a Sidonia Fizz Geek Girl. I know. I'm uh, uh, terribly sad about that. I, it, it deserved to. It deserved to um, make the Kickstarter goal. I, I, I'm not really sure why it failed, but maybe it, maybe it just wasn't to be. Maybe. It's one of those things that's best left untouched. I'm going to drop down here quickly. I'm going to go and grab this coin. Mark, Ro Mark Rocks Nut says, Holy bleep balls! Dizzy! Indeed, dizzy it is. So, these generators here, they need keys to uh, operate them. i just got to remember which one needs which. There you go, you try the key in the lock and it fits, so you turn it to on. So this this lift is now working. I don't know which other generator this key works for. Not that one. Do 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 do. No 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 no. You try the key in, in the lock and it fits, so you turn it to on. There we go. Quick save quickly. I think when I was a kid I got permanently stuck on the dragon bit and decided to wait 20 years for the PlayStation 3 to be released as Nomad Jim. I'm going to quickly drop down here, get the coin. As you can see this lift is not working out, I still need to get a key. There's a dragon down there with an egg. Not sure, not sure how we're going to get past this dragon. It's at this point here now where my memories fade slightly and I'm not 100% sure what needs to be done. A cute pygmy cow. What have we got here? Oh, how disgusting. You tried to pick up the manure, but it slips from your hand. So there's some manure as well. What have we got here? Ah, it's... Um, Denz... Dylan? Dylan, I think? Or Dylan? Dylan. Hey, man, what's... <laughs> like, what's happening? Please help me, Dylan. I'm trying to rescue Daisy, but I can't find the cloud castle. It's quite easy. Remember how Jack found the castle? Okay, so this, remember how Jack found the castle? That means there's probably something to do with the beanstalk. I can't count a cute pygmy cow. I can't. I, I'm going to put the cute pygmy down, cow down. I can't remember if the cute pygmy cow. Damn it! There's a coin hidden in that tree somewhere. I'm sure. I think the cute pygmy cow might be a red herring. Oh! One more try to get a coin. Screw, screw that coin. Splash around in the water. There's another key. Let's head up here. I'm going to quick save, because that's lava. I don't want to get burnt in the lava. Well done, you found a coin. Dirty. 
do, 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 do. I'm motoring through this game, by the way. It would have taken me about six months to work out how to get this far at the moment. When the game originally came out. There we go, clump of leaves. And there we go, a coin. Let's put those leaves back down again. The character design of Dizzy was based on my dad too, who's constantly doing jazz hands as Nomad Jim. I don't need a new Dizzy game, I'd just like the originals to be released by someone like uh, GOG, who could get it working on modern PCs without an emulator. I'd totally pay for all the games again. Uh, so would I. So would I, Matthew Pollard. Uh, let's actually, let's go and turn on that generator quickly. It's five o'clock, got half an hour left of Dizzy action. Half an hour left on this live stream. There you go, that generator's on. I'm not going to bother checking if it's open, if it's started that one down below. Because I don't need to go down there right yet, because I will die if I do as well. Right, so now's the time ooh, to go and check out the Yoke Folk Tree Village. Because, of course, everybody knows egg people live in trees. Of course they do. Let's quickly jump up and see where we're going. We're jumping to the left here. What is this? A large round hole. Whoops, you've got a hole in your bag and everything has dropped out. I had nothing in. That's a naughty trick there from the Codemasters. Luckily I had nothing in my bag to start with. But that's quite funny, isn't it? You pick up the hole and everything falls out of your bag. Can't go in the house. Checking for coins. Behind the railings. Sometimes there's coins behind the windows. New no. Piece of railing, there we go, there's a coin. Past halfway on the coinage. Window frame, there you go. I knew there was a coin in the window frame somewhere. Daisy's empty hut there. Late in later dizzy games, you could go in the houses. Oh, damn! I just got, I just burnt by the flames. I lost a life. Um, don't worry. I'm just gonna. It's not gonna be too much of a hassle. If I keep quick saving, I forgot to quick save, so I would have gone back ages if I'd have quick loaded. So I'm using this lift that I've activated to go higher. I'll drop that window frame. Had to step away for a minute, no idea what's going on now, says Pius, you listen. I'm just uh, just learning you guys about the best game ever. Oh, F2? Yes, good. Da, 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 da. Off we go. Let's try and get back up there again. The music is hypnotic, says FR Player 1. Sure is. Oh, god damn it! I'm just getting set on fire by lanterns now. Do, 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 do. I haven't tried the Road Redemption Al for um, Gavin UK. I'll have to see if I can get get on that. Alright, F3. Quick save. I'll go up there in a second. Let's just check. Is there anything here? What is this? Ah, Brass Door Knocker. I remember earlier there was a door I needed to knock to get through. Sounds like the door knock is probably a legit thing to get through that door. Do 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 do. Do do do. March Rocks Nut says, Ugh, another indie game with retro graphics. How original. <laughs> Lol. Definite sarcasm there from Mark Rocks Nuts. Got a coin. Yoink! Uh, pretty sure there's nothing else around this part. Let's go speak to uh, Grand Dizzy. Uh, it's quick save. Can't remember if that's going to kill me. Yes, it does. F2 to load. Do. Do. I'd have st you know, by now I'd be back at the beginning, starting the beginning again. Afternoon, young Dizzy, you look frantic and think your old grand Dizzy can uh, do to help. Haven't you heard Daisy's been held in the Cloud Castle and I'm trying to save her? Just wait here, I'll get my hat. Wait, what? Well, thanks for offering to help, but I think you should stay. Well, if you think it's best, but please take this crowbar. I, I remember when... 
You decide to leave as he starts to tell you his life history. Now, I'm not sure you use a crowbar in the original Dizzy game, so I'm not sure if Grand Dizzy there is meant to be the Dizzy from the original game, or what. Because there isn't a Grand... There's no... Uh, it, w it wasn't until um, Treasure Island Dizzy that they started introducing other characters to the game. Here we go, I've got a uh, rusty old pickaxe as well now. There's a gold coin there that could come in useful. Right, quick save. Jump. Yes, coin. Lovely. I'm going to try, I'm going to quick save and uh, throw myself off here. Hopefully I won't die. Considering he's an egg, He's pretty resistant to falls in this game. Later on, um, in later Dizzy games, you get fall damage, and you can die by falling too far. But in this one, he's uh, he's he's proper tough. He only dies by spikes, monsters, and drowning. Do 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 do. Uh, right, let's try this brass door knocker. Using the door knocker, you knock and the door opens. I actually can't remember what's behind this door. It's a bucket of water. Ah, okay, yes, I remember now. I'm not sure what the pickaxe is for. But I know what the bucket's for. Let's carry on. F3 to save, just in case. I died, Crocodath. No, I was good. Is this fire emulator with quicksave? Says Mart Rocks Nuts. Yes, it is. It is via uh, via emulator. Obviously, um, I've asked permission from Codemasters to do this live stream, and I own I own three copies, at least three copies of the original. One on Spectrum. Well, two on Spectrum. One on Spectrum. One on uh, Commodore, and then one in a uh, compilation. Uh, right, here, I need to go empty bucket. You fill your empty bucket with water. Lovely stuff. I'm going to pick that back up again. I've got water now. I think I do need that pygmy cow. Jim Atep's just back from seeing Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice, nice. I saw that at the weekend. Very good film. Oh, there we go. So I dropped the water and uh, on the cow pat, and a beanstalk has grown. So you, can woo -woo -woo -woo. so you can climb up the beanstalk, but I'm not going to go up the beanstalk yet. There's still things that need to be done, I believe. As far as I can remember. Let's keep going. In the future, it'll be get off my lawn. Ian is owning them jumps, says uh, Gavin UK86. I sure am. Okay, uh, I think you use the crowbar here. And then, yes, using the crowbar, you force the lid off the well. And I believe I'm going to Australia now. Going down the well. There we go. Okay, yeah. Now I'm in Australia. Um, and in Australia, of course. Everything is upside down. And confusing as hell to navigate. Got a coin there. Let's head back this way. Ping! As if by magic the shopkeeper appears. Ooh, a shopkeeper! Um, speak to the shopkeeper. He's not... Is he, is he going to say anything to me? I'm not sure what the shopkeeper's going to say to me. I'm going to give him the cute pygmy cow. Um, good ideas. Ah, pygmy cow. That's interesting. Well, how about ten gold coins for it? It's truth, mate. I said interesting, not valuable. Uh, well, okay, five gold coins. Be serious. It ain't worth spit. Here's a bean. That's generous. Uh, um, but now stop wasting my time. And he throws the bean on the crate. You leave. Let's face it, Dizzy can't barter. So the bean here, I thought that I needed the bean to put in the cow pat to grow the beanstalk, you see, which is why I was a bit surprised that the beanstalk grew. 
possibly something up with the emulator there. Or possibly, oh god, I fell down the well. Um, or possibly I'm getting things confused. I'm sure you needed that bean to grow the beanstalk, but meh. Who cares? Beanstalk's growing anyway. 20 minutes to finish the game, pressure is on, says uh, Wayne Donaldson. Well, I'm definitely not going to finish the game proper because I don't have 30 coins. I'm going to try my best to finish the game though. This bit. I was really confused as to how to do this bit when I was younger. But you jump there, then you walk off there, grab this coin, save, jump up here, get the key, like some kind of upside down churchy thing, jump there, jump there, jump there, yep there we go. That's a that was a lot easier than I remember it being, that's for sure. And back down the well we go. I think that's all we need from Australia. Okay, right. Making good time. Still got 18 minutes left. Do 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 What have I got in my inventory? I've got the key. I can't remember what this um, fits to on F3. Quick save. New do 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 do. Reminds me of the upside down level on Prince of Persia. I still wake up screaming, says Nomad Jim. Um, if I go down here now, I don't know if I've got what I need. There's an angry dragon. To get past the dragon to get that carpet. I'm going to pick up the heavy dragon egg and I'm going to drop a single green bean. Oh, he's going to step out of me! Ooh! Right, no, that doesn't work. Okay, F2 to load. Uh, I think I need something else. I can't remember what it is that I need. Hey, Miss Fraggle Rocks! Right, I'm going to try and climb here. Oh, nuts. No, no. I'm going to try and climb this beanstalk. No, no. Oh dear. I'm going to try and climb the beanstalk and see if what I need is... Oh no. Let's see if what I need is up here somewhere. That's if I can get up this Blooming beanstalk. No, oh, why is that not? Okay, I must be jumping from the wrong bit. Also. So yeah, a lot of this game involves trial of error with trial and error with your jumps as well. What? How do I get up there? Maybe this way. Oh, that works. That's better. No. What? I might have to look. I might have to, for the sake of time. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Wait a card and pick a minute. So you sink through the clouds as well. So you've got to be careful on these clouds. Do you sink through the clouds? Oh no, you don't on this one. Found a coin. Oh god. Maybe there are parts of the clouds you do sink through. Uh, F3. Let's save it. There's bound to be some fally downy bits here. What's up here? I'm going to 
quickly look here. Oh! That's exactly where I needed to be, but not what I needed to do. Maybe don't roll through. There we go. Right, I need this. Okay, that's a heavy dragon egg. I, I definitely need that. There's some spikes there. What am I going to do with these spikes? Well, I'm going to need something to cross those. Aren't I? So let's uh, save. Oh! Oh! F2. To load. Two to load. Yeah. Ah! F2 to load. Ah. Uh, Alright. Let's ignore that coin. I love how Ian is actually making this look fairly easy. Most modern day gamers would probably rage quit after five minutes. If you don't know what to do, it was rock hard. Super rock hard, Groove Master 383. Uh, we got 110 people watching. Hello there, all 110 uh, of you. Welcome to Eurogamer's YouTube channel. My name's Ian Hickton, if you don't know me. Uh, if you do know me and you're a regular viewer, thank you very much for being a regular viewer. Tell everyone else who's not a regular viewer to subscribe to the channel. They, they, won't, they, won't, uh, they won't regret it, will they, regulars? Plenty, plenty to do here on this channel. If you are a regular, give the video a thumbs up as well if you like the retro stuff. I am better late than never. Hello, Higtonians. What is happening? Says Anthony Topping. So this point here, uh, I'm going to save. I believe I take this dragon egg. No, I don't take that dragon egg. I drop both dragon eggs. Uh. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what that said then, but... Um, I gave the dragon egg that I found and it chilled that dragon out basically. So now that dragon is no longer angry. Let's uh, quick save quick. Just quickly have a... Oh no, not you again. Go away, I'm hiding and it's all your fault. <laughs> there's, there's, the, uh, there's the troll. He's in trouble so he's, he's hiding there. Nothing there I don't think. Let's get this coin up here if I can. Lovely coin. Of course, I'm going to use the pickaxe to get through here. Rusty old pickaxe. There we go. Nice, nice. A big, thick, green rug. Thank you very much, sir. Right. I know F3 here. I'm going to quick save. And I'm going to... I'm going to steal both the dragon's eggs. He doesn't care now, look. Fine. Got your eggs now. <laughs> it's going to be the best fry up ever. So let me just check. I've got an uh, old thick green rug, a single green bean, and two heavy dragon eggs. Let's head on up. Just remember that this is. Um, yeah, uh, playing this now, I'm quick saving and stuff. I'd have had to restart many times. to get this far. Let alone having to work out all the puzzles. Oh, damn, fell off. F2. There's somewhere... Why am I falling off now? Oh! So there's, there's a part of this cloud where you fall through. So I need to work out where to jump from. There you go. So I don't roll off. There we go. Save that there quick. Can I jump on that? I can't jump on that. Don't think I can jump back to that. I'm going to check. No. F2. And... Please don't fall down the hole. Fell down the hole. F2. So much quick save. Don't fall down the hole. Jump. Yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. Right. Enter. So to use to get past the spikes, I'm going to use the old thick rug. You throw the rug across the daggers. Okay, daggers, making them safe. There we go, they are safe. Let's go in here. Get this coin. Oh, I'd only found a coin. So I'm actually only missing five coins, which is uh, that's pretty good. How do I get up there? There we go. Oh. Oh, so I've got to hold this 
Well, let's go, that's Daisy. I'm coming for you, Daisy. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, my hero! I knew you would come to my rescue. This game is weird, says John Bob. Well, Daisy doesn't hang around. She's run home and wants you to bring her 30 gold coins so that you can buy a home together and live happily ever after. I've only got eight minutes. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to find all the um, all the coins. Um... Fancy World Dizzy Coins. Do 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 do. Just seeing if there's anywhere that tells me a list of where the coins are nice and quick. Mm hmm. Do 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 do. Okay. What's that? Fancy World Dizzy. Ah, coin location. So, I got that one. Huh. Can you do that? No. Alright, so I got that coin. There's one there. I've got that one. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the coins in time, guys. I'll try my best. There's one there that I've missed. See the true ending. I think you're probably going to need to. Oops. Google a YouTube video on it. Darn. No, I'm not going to have time to find. Uh, I'm not going to have time to find all the coins. I'm afraid, but you get the idea. Uh, you can, if you want to see the actual, the actual proper ending of this game, uh, when you uh, get all the coins as well, uh, you'll be able to find it on YouTube. I'm pretty much 100% sure. Uh, 30 gold coins gets you a house. Man, I miss the 80s. Says Mark Rocks Nuts. Brilliant. Uh, but I kind of, um, I kind of completed it, I guess. Isn't it amazing that such a short game kept people going for ages back in the day, says Novarak. It is amazing, but um, it's a testament to how well the game was made, that people just kept coming back to it, and that it still lives on in people's hearts nowadays. I absolutely love this game, and uh, getting to play it again for this uh, live Let's Play has been uh, an absolute, uh, an absolute honour. Um, it's uh, brought back many uh, pleasurable childhood memories. Uh, I, d I would like to thank Codemasters for giving me permission to um, uh, use an emulator to, uh, to stream this version of the game. Obviously, I want to thank you guys even more for watching. Uh, I've had a very good time. Hopefully, you've enjoyed checking out this game. I talk about this game quite a bit in my live stream, so younger viewers who have no idea what it is, now you know. Um, it's just uh, an awesome, awesome game with a, a great personality and uh, yeah, one of my favourite games on the spectrum. If this was a modern game you would be able to pay real money to get extra coins via the evils of microtransactions says Pisces Listen. That's true, that's true. Uh, he won't be putting his eggs in her, in her basket unless he finds that cash says Martin Ellis. How rude! Uh, you could call this one one of the first open world games really as it seems to let you go back and forth at world without invisible progress walls well, I guess yeah. The first, the, the first Dizzy would probably be the first one of those, I guess. Uh, Ian SamSolutions.co.uk Dizzy hints. He's sh uh, Gavin UK has given me the map. I'll probably, I've saved this where it is. So uh, later on, when I'm back from the gym, I'll probably, uh, probably find those last few coins. 
Uh, this uh, Tyler Styles says this is more of is this more of a British stripe European game? Yes, ZX Spectrum wasn't very big uh, over in the United States and stuff like that. I don't think so. Thank you very much to uh, Martin Ellis, Nomad Jim, Mutt Rocks Nuts, Gavin UK86, Tyler Style, Steve Scoes, John Above 87, Gavin UK86, Stroyer, Matthew Pollard, Wayne Donaldson. Please do Magic Land Dizzy sometimes. Maybe I will if there's more more quiet nights. Manic Miner next, please. I'll just I'll tear my miner, my hair out of Manic Miner. Found that game impossible. That is one that calls for extreme jumps. Uh, thanks to Lally Little 25, Groovemaster 303, Stroyer, CC Crow, Power Sword, everybody else who's uh, liked, commented, and subscribed. If you're new, please do subscribe. If you're not new, give a thumbs up for this video. Follow me on Twitter here and Eurogamer on Twitter there for updates on all our live streams tomorrow, I believe. Uh, not 100%, but I think 99% I'm going to be streaming some more The Last of Us Remastered Community Multiplayer. So if you're up for uh, joining in on that, keep an eye out on the Twitters especially, um, and I will see you there. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great night, and um, yeah, viva la spectrum. Goodbye. <laughs>